once again YouTube, welcome back to the domain. It's the domizzle in the green screen hizzle today and I gotta tell you, we need to stop, okay? This has to stop. The Falcon Sweep is not worth this much money, guys. The prices are going crazy. I didn't think I was gonna have to make a video about this, but now I really need to speak out, okay? The Falcon Sweep should not be going for these crazy, crazy prices and we gotta put a stop to it. We gotta band together because the Falcon Sweep is coming back this year, okay? It's being restocked on Mattel Creations. It's gonna have a really good drop. I think the numbers are gonna be huge, but it kills me that the Falcon Sweep is selling for hundreds and hundreds of dollars right now, and I'm not over-exaggerating, okay? I just saw some things uh, over the last 24 hours that scared me. A couple of my group chats were going nuts about it, so I was like, I have to make a PSA public service announcement and tell people to stop. Okay, so first of all, if you didn't know, the Falcon Sweep, an amazing set that came out last year. It was discontinued and it was discontinued too early. Like it was taken too early from us. It's just such an amazing set. All six members of Noble Team and look at it. A brand new Falcon with a design sort of that can actually fit everyone inside. The photos are amazing. The art is amazing. Like this thing is awesome. I actually spoke at the Mega Studio the other day with the designer of this artwork and she said she's going to get me a 4K version, which I'm very excited about. But this Falcon Sweep, like, it's amazing, but it got really bad distribution. The stock was low and uh, the fans couldn't get hold of it. Um, I, I mean, look at that. 133 have it, 919 want it. That's a pretty good indication. I reached out to Mega. I made a couple of videos about it. Some other content creators did. Falcon Sweep needed to come back because it was the best way. It's pretty much the only way to get all of Noble Team. Like you would pay just for a couple of those members of Noble Team, you would pay the same price as the retail of this Falcon Sweep. So it was a real gift to the fans and it was such a shame it was not well distributed. So Mega, unlike almost any company I could ever think of, actually came up with a tangible solution. They made new stock of this. They brought it back for this year and it's part of the fall 23 lineup when people say like well where are all the fall 23 sets floodgate firefight elephant sand nest falcon sweep that is three of them this is getting a full re-release on mattel creations and it, that's all well and good we know that it's coming within the next two months maybe a little bit more but like within the next two months i think is our window and yan has you know dropped a couple of breadcrumbs about that but I saw eBay the other day and I had to say something, right? You go on to eBay uh, USA. So we're gonna compare both Ebays, right? eBay USA, okay, Falcon Sweep, $550 buy it now. You're like, okay, that's not really what anyone's actually paying. Ooh, people are paying that, $300. That's 17 bids, that's got 10 hours left. That's gonna go for more than $300 for the Falcon Sweep. Like, that's not good. It's not good, guys. Like, this this escalated in price really quickly. Also, uh, don't ever buy prototypes off eBay. No idea if they're real. Like, why would they... No, no, don't do it. That could easily just be a 3D printed head and a pop and swap. Don't do that. Um, also, the propellers? Really? $5 for the propellers? <laughs> for the Falcon Sweep? Don't know about that either. Um, oh, oh, yeah, the Kodiak Siege. See, that's a good example, right? Kodiak Siege, $300. That's a fine price. You don't want to pay that? That's fine. I don't want to pay that. But it is a collectible piece. When people complain about the price of, um, you know, the Scarab sealed is going for thousands of dollars, people say that's crazy. I don't actually think it is, right? Like the, foul, like the Scarab is a serious collectible um, and it was a limited run. It's it's a gorgeous piece. It's a signature build. It's, a, it's very iconic. And uh, yeah, it's going to go for more and more value as any collectible does as it climbs in value. But the problem here is the Falcon Sweep shouldn't be going for this price, right? Like, it, it's a collectible that should, it, well, it's about to be more readily available. It's not even discontinued technically. So we go, so that's one thing, if you ever wanna compare prices on eBay, a good indication is going down here and clicking sold and completed items, right? Then you can actually see what the price of these things is. Cause a lot of these are like placeholder prices. Like, I didn't think anyone was ever gonna pay that. That's, someone just put that there like, well, maybe someone will buy it. I don't really care. Uh, a lot of people do that. But this is the completed prices, right? So a cat actually sold for $10, which it's like, okay, I mean, the cat's a good figure, $10, fine. Um, this, there was an offer accepted, so it was less than $400 for a sealed one. But this is what made me have to make this video. $711 for the Falcon Sweep, 30 bids. That's, that's not cool. That's not good. Like, obviously, no hate towards the seller. Like, they're just selling it for the price people are paying to an extent. I mean, again, scalping and collectible prices are different. 
Scalping is when you buy up all your stock in your local area and you immediately list it for, for higher prices on eBay. That's not good behavior. You go to, go to mega jail. But this is a collectible price. So like, you know, Josh, he's selling it for what it's worth. He just put the bid on it. It's not his fault that 30 people bid it. Um, but that's wild. $711. It's coming back in like two months and it's gonna be, I don't know, what I don't know what the retail was, I don't have it written down, like $80, less than $80, $700. Let's go on UK eBay, this is UK eBay, uh, there's one, buy it now for $295. Again, it's like, if someone buys that, fine, but we're trying to get the information out that it's available, <laughs> like it's coming back. Let's go on the sold items uh, for this. Okay, yeah, uh, sold for 250 pounds, um, sold for 300 pounds, sold for 290 pounds, 280 pounds. Um, and these are all fairly recent, like this is going, look, 378 pounds. Um, it keeps on going for, for this price. And like, again, okay if it does, but like we need to, okay, so someone got a good deal there. We need to like let people know the Falcon Sweep is returning. So Mattel Creations, it offers worldwide shipping. This is their website. They offer like all different brands, um, you know, all these different ones. But this is the Multiplayer Mayhem, the Halo Mega Fan Vote uh, 2023, and an amazing set. It comes out next year, ships before April, $65. You can still get it. And once that is sold out, that is truly the only stock that will ever be available ever. So you should buy that. Also, I picked up a Castle Grayskull the other day. It's amazing. Um, yeah, this is our Mattel Creations, um, the Motion Magic Arp, what I showcased at SDCC extensively. Um, I actually have this EV on my desk. It's really great. Uh, I love the motion sets. So um, there's a couple of pros here. First of all, Mattel only stocks a certain amount of stuff, right? If they see that the Halo stuff is selling well, they'll stock more. So support your local Mattel creations and buy the Multiplayer Mayhem. Also, all the weapons are painted. There's tons of new molds. It's great. Um, and the Pelican Inbound, $161. Um, that's a little over retail, but it could be what, uh, you know, the only price you can find. Hello, little squirrel. Trying to, trying to ruin my shoot. Um, the Banished Phantom was reduced to $82 and is now sold out. Amazing price. Um, yeah, really cool. So... Mattel Creations ships worldwide. They offer really, really good prices for worldwide shipping. Um, I've got incognito mode now, so it won't show me, but I believe it was like $19 or something to ship to England. It's not even bad. Um, and they have a ton of other IPs as well. There's our mega collectors. So uh, you gotta, you, you gotta get, or not, you gotta wait until it's out and then you gotta get it on Mattel Creations. Guys, it kills me that it's going for $700. It doesn't need to be this way. Uh, not only um, is that crazy because it's coming out in two months, we also want to wait two months and support Mattel Creations so they stock more Halo in the future. It's imperative we do. So uh, that is your PSA from your local Domizzle in the Hizzle. Um, I'm working on a ton of other videos right now and a ton of official videos with Mega that uh, are just taking a long time to like find the rhythm with, so please be patient. But uh, UNSC Falcon Sweep, suit up with Noble Team, and uh, it is coming back really, really soon. So be patient, um, and the second this goes live, I will let you guys know, but I'm under really good authority that it's going to be a really good stock. I mean, you think about like this Mattel Creations, right? The Multiplayer Mayhem, still available, so there must be a ton of stock. Like, anything in the Mega Catalog that's Halo has been available for a long time because there must be a serious volume of stock. So I'm feeling that Falcon Sweep will get a massive drop. Like, think about the drop of the 20th character pack that came to Amazon. It just sold out, like after, what, like a year? Um, stock is really good once it comes. So uh, wait a couple of months, maybe less than a couple of months, maybe a little bit more, but probably less than a couple of months, and Falcon Sweep can be yours. Thanks very much for tuning in, guys. Uh, thanks so much for your support on the most recent videos. And as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, and the Dome Izzle in the Hizzle is signing off.